Hey everybody, Brian Tro coming to you from Mossy Creek Fly Fishing with your fly fishing forecast. Date today is Monday, May 17th. So, it's been pretty awesome weather. It's beautiful out. It looks like it's going to warm up a lot this week. We're finally going to get away from these cold nights and into the 80s. Looks like the upper 80s. So, we're going to go a week ahead. Um, we also have low water conditions. So, it's taken a couple weeks to get there, but we really are starting to get pretty droughty. Um, so I'm going to, I'm going to walk you all through kind of what that, what that means and how that affects the fishing. So the good news is the hatches are going off like crazy. There's a lot of great fishing to be done here in the middle of May and uh, there's a lot to get to. So let's start up in the mountains. Uh, all the mountain brook trout streams are fishing really, really well. Um, they're, they're, they're pretty excited to eat pretty much anything. Um, the folks that came in this past week that said, Hey, we bought some of those you know, yellow sallies and headlight sallies and mini heart garcias, those are working awesome. So that's good. Uh, there's sulfur's hatching. The drakes are really starting to pick up. Um, we've been seeing a whole lot of them buzzing around. So uh, start stocking up on big mayflies. All right, they're gonna be like size 10s, maybe even size eights. All right, so that's all coming. Now, here's the other side to it. In addition to having good bug stuff where we've got really low water, it's been several springs since we've been droughty, okay? And so they, their metabolism is up and the food is there. They're missing some habitat. As the water gets lower, they get more skittish. Um, they don't have as much cover. They don't have as much protection from birds. The kingfishers are back there eating the brook trout. The snakes are eating the brook trout. The brook trout are eating the brook trout, okay? So they're, they're gonna get really, really spooky. So longer leaders, okay? Start getting down low, dress in darker colors, okay? Um, instead of uh, seven foot leaders or nine foot leaders, switch over to 10 and 11 foot leaders. Just have less fly line touching the water. Um, and just watch your approach. Use the natural terrain, use boulders, rocks, logs, things like that to kind of duck down behind and conceal yourself, okay? They wanna eat. Don't overlook the lips of the pool, the shallow water where all the water spills out. Okay, a lot of people like to walk up and step in that to fish the nice waterfall at the head of the pool. Um, that's where some of the biggest fish and the pool will sit. It's back in that little bit of shallow water. They get to eat all the food that collects on the pool, okay? So really work on your approach. Size down your leaders a little bit. If you're normally fishing 5X, you may have to go to 6X, okay? And just be stealthy, all right? Have fun. It's awesome up there right now. I mean, it just you, can't, you almost can't go wrong. The reports on the brook trout fishing are great. Uh, on the spring creeks, same thing. Every day where it's been kind of like high pressure, blue skies, creeks like Mossy have been really challenging, okay? Uh, even if you're keep taking a knee and getting down low. And then on days like this, where the clouds have just rolled in, right here on Monday afternoon, the, the clouds are rolling in, the fish start biting. Yesterday it was rainy, blueing olives were hatching, sulfurs were hatching. So uh, fishing low light uh, in the evenings has been really good. The sulfur spinner falls are at peak they're really, really great. If you can get out there and fish the last hour, hour and a half of daylight, it's been really good. All right, moving on to, and, and, and again, the, there's not a lot of rain in the forecast. So these low water conditions that we have right now look like they're gonna be around with us until I, until I speak with you all again next week at the very least. All right, the rivers. The rivers are in great shape. We haven't had a low water May in quite a while. Um, it bodes well for the spawn. My brother's been doing a great job of taking some cool video uh, in the past week or two uh, of nests, uh, fish on nests, fish actually spawning, fish guarding nests, nests with egg, and now e nests with fry. So that's where we are right now. As soon as those fry balls start to kind of come up and swim around and swim off, all right, the, the smallmouth will stop protecting them. All right, and that's pretty much where we are right now. Not every fish is on the same page. You definitely don't want to target bass guarding its nest, okay? But the majority of nests that we've been keeping track of over the last couple of weeks, the smallmouth have pushed off, which is good. They're going to be hungry and they need to start building up their calories and getting ready for this great summer ahead. The largemouth are next. They're going to start staging up in some of the same spots. They'll even nest right in the same spots that the smallmouth do, but They'll also go into muddier, siltier, sandier water that they have no problem spawning in. So be on the lookout for them. Do not fish for spawning fish. Do not pull spawning fish off their nests, okay? The water's clear and the water's low. If you're curious about these things, you, you wanna learn more about it, we're here 
to answer questions, but you can go in the river and really find these spots and see for yourself. It's pretty awesome to watch. All right, shortly after the largemouth um, get on their nest, the sunfish will start to spawn too, okay? So, musky fishing's been really good. The musky are on the bite. The water temperatures are really good for musky fishing. So for those of you who have never tried it or are interested in doing it, it's really, really good right now. We will keep uh, you up to speed on water temperatures and when it's time to call it a summer on fishing for the musky. But in the window after their spawn and before the heat of the summer, the musky get really, really active, okay? They're really hungry. Full moon in June, musky madness, that's what we call it. So be on the lookout for the musky. They've been uh, biting pretty well. Um, that's pretty much it. If you're smallmouth fishing, clawdads and crayfish down in the ledges, um, CK baitfish, uh, little rascals, white streamers fished mid-current, okay? We even had a few fish eat on top water, probably just because the water's low. When the water's low, it's just as easy to eat on top as underneath. No cicadas here. We answer that like 10 times a day. We're not gonna get the cicadas here. You gotta go pretty far north into Northern Virginia before you start seeing the cicadas. But don't worry, the dog day cicada, which comes every single year, will be showing up in about a month, all right? As will all the dragonflies and all the damselflies. So top water bite should get better as we go a little further into the summer. Okay. So that's it. Lots of low water. Be sneaky, okay? Be stealthy. Warm temperatures coming. That's going to bump the metabolism up on all those bass and get them feeding even better. Um, and uh, really, really great hatches for the trout fishermen to enjoy. All right. If you have questions, you need places to go, questions about bugs, any of that stuff, that's what we're here for. Please call us, email us, or best thing to do, stop by the shop. All right, I will see you all next week.